The I.O. Fund was a leading firm in predicting NVIDIA would become an AI stock as far back as 2018. Since the I.O. Fund's first entry into the stock, it is up 3,280%. If an investor had invested $10,000, they could have seen it grow to $338,000. Let's uh, talk about the NVIDIA earnings uh, again because, again, uh, it, it's tough, but there's someone who was in this space before, when no one liked it, when no one even knew about it. Pioneer in AI investing. In fact, her firm has been focused on NVIDIA from the very beginning. And even at times when this stock got smacked around, Beth Kendick never lost her conviction. So, Beth, you've been fantastic. Again, congratulations. You really were pounding the table on this when no one believed it. Uh, a few times they would have the hiccup. Uh, people ridiculed you and your and your work, but you are on top of the world right now. And anyone that followed you is as well. The Beth Kendig, founder of IO Fund, is crushing it over the past year, riding the wave of big gains that she saw coming. Wow. Beth, you're headed the curve. Congratulations. The queen of NVIDIA. Let's take a brief glance at what the top anchor in the financial media is referring to. When NVIDIA was priced at $4.93, Beth Kindig wrote, when artificial intelligence matures, you can expect data center revenue to be NVIDIA's top revenue segment. Despite the corrections we've seen in the technology sector, and with NVIDIA stock specifically, investors who remain patient will have a sizable return in the future. tough day for NVIDIA investors, but in the long run, it's not going to matter. Uh, we hold the stock for its lead in artificial intelligence. And so uh, anything based on outside of that thesis is not important to us. The market cap of NVIDIA was $120 billion when Beth Kindig first said NVIDIA would be an AI stock. The market cap was $110 billion when she stated it would become the world's most valuable company to her premium members. The market cap is $2.61 trillion as of September 9, 2024. The I.O. Fund's cumulative returns of 210% have more than doubled the S&P 500 since our inception and are 219% better than institutional all-tech portfolios. The I.O. Fund is bringing Wall Street-level returns to individual investors. Sign up to learn more below. Beth Kindig thinks NVIDIA and AI is just getting started. It was really during the call when management highlighted key points about the Blackwell architecture. The Blackwell architecture that is coming will exceed the, Harper, the Hopper architecture that we've already seen drive these sales. They have uh, modeled 65% uh, 65% upside based on, based on Blackwell by the end of 2025, calendar year 2025. So let me remind you that I had said years ago that App, uh, NVIDIA would surpass Apple to become the world's most valuable company. Now it's nipping at its heels. What is going on with NVIDIA that is unique from a company like Apple or Microsoft is, as you know, it's fueling the AI infrastructure. NVIDIA is quickly releasing the next architecture. It's called Blackwell. It will be out before the end of this year. That, we think, can bring us to a $200 billion data center by the end of fiscal year 2026. This next cadence of generation, which is Blackwell, will equal or slightly exceed Hopper. It will empower and enable trillion-plus parameter large language models, which is exactly where big tech is trying to go. At least Sue has a $400 billion data center segment by 2027. What, our, what my forecast is, is that NVIDIA will take the lion's share of that. Intel has a $1 trillion TAM by 2030. Again, my forecast is NVIDIA will take the lion's share of that. We have a $10 trillion market cap uh, target for NVIDIA by 2030. And I will be candid and tell you I think it's too low.